hey there scientific brilliant people how are you today so today i'm uh, going to teach you about how to charge a metal sphere positive and negative with the help of induction technique so this is a metal sphere basically mounted on a wooden stand and the purpose of the wooden stand is very specific so as the lecture flow proceeds i will let you know and in case when i am going to make this metal sphere as positive you can consider this metal sphere to be uh, hollow or a uh, rigid one it is not going to affect us right so i want to make this wooden sphere positive so what am i going to do is i am going to bring an ebonite rod which is already negatively charged now you can assume that suppose you have a silk and glass rod so you are rubbing the glass rod with silk and the silk cloth becomes negative and the glass rod becomes positive now that silk cloth i am molding it in form of a rod and here it is so instead of ebonite rod let's consider a silk one because it is very easy, easy to understand so i have already a silk cloth which is molded in form of a rod and now this is a negative silk cloth now what it is going to do people now since it is a conductor in conductor or metals you never have complete atoms always the electrons from the outermost shell are outside so you will find a lot of positive ions and the electrons which have jumped out as negative electrons so inside the entire conductor you have positive ions and negative electrons now the moment you bring this nearby it so what is going to happen is you have large number of positive ions negative electrons positive ions negative electrons so you have large amount of free moving electrons as well as positive ions inside a metal sphere now we when we talk about electrostatics static electricity we never consider positive charges in motion because if an electron jumps out the electron is a single electron which is lighter particle whereas leaving behind the atom which is quite heavy so positive ions are never in motion so now what is going to happen the moment you bring this negative rod nearby all the electrons from this area will be repelling and they will be gathering at a very far away distance from this rod because these electrons will be repelled and these electrons want to stay at a very far away distance thereby behaving like this one whereas positive ions would be gathered over here actually positive ions doesn't get drifted but the electrons from this part they move over here so that's why this part becomes positive so when we bring a positive a negative silk cloth nearby a sphere this is what happens and this is called splitting up of charges right basically called uh, this is called an induction and we have not touched this silk cloth with the metal ball make sure this should not come in physical contact with the metal ball right okay now so here we have the same situation this is diagram a in this diagram b you have seen the splitting up of charges same thing take a copper wire join the copper wire here and the another end of the copper wire should be inside the ground so basically when i do something like this this means it is earthing that means the another end of the wire is inserted in the earth correct now people see these are called bound charges why they are called bound charges because this positive ions are being strongly held by the force of attraction of this negative rod so these cannot move because this negative rod rod is attracting all these positive ions so these positive ions will never be able to move they cannot move so they are called bound charges now earth earth can be considered this is earth earth can be considered as an ocean like if you go to ocean and if you remove 10 to 15 buckets of water or if you add 10 to 15 buckets of water we know nothing is going to happen in the same way you have to assume earth to be made up of lots of electrons 
at the same time lots of positive ions so earth is a huge collection of positive and negative ions like ocean is a huge collection of water now if i remove few electrons or if i add a few electrons it is not going to affect the earth so now this part of the earth like this part is the earth only and there are lot of electrons and there are lots of positive charges as well now the moment this is just like a story people the moment you connect this wire with the the this part of the metal sphere so these are bound charges anyhow they are not able to move but if the earth sees extra electrons over here all these electrons will start moving inside the earth and if earth sees that this part is positive that means this part lacks electron then the earth will provide the electrons so in this situation earth will see that there are lot of electrons over here and these electrons one by one from here will come out like these electrons will come out and they will go through this wire inside the earth and slowly and steadily all the electrons from this part will go inside the earth and you will see something like this happening this remains positive this is again the rod like this negative make sure during this entire experiment this rod doesn't touch this metal sphere now once all the electrons they go into the earth we have to disconnect the wire right so all the electrons from this area has now entered inside the earth now remove this wire so you see this thing now people you just have to remove the rod from here so the moment you remove the rod what is going to happen is all these positive ions they are going to repel each other and they are going to stay at maximum distance away from each other so they are going so now we have to remove the rod and this is diagram c this is d and in the last e part we remove the rod and these positive ions now they are no longer bounded by this force of attraction of the rod so these positive ions are going to repel and they will try to remain at a maximum distance away from one another so finally they are going to get scattered so remember people they cannot stay inside the metal because on the sphere only the distance between them would be the maximum you can't say that the two positive charges would be over here because then between them the distance would not be maximum due to repulsion so all the charges they come on the surface so now we have achieved what we wanted to i started with a negative rod and this negative rod was brought very near to this positive sphere and finally i have the positive charge on the uh, surface of the sphere so if you bring a negative rod don't touch it finally you get the positive ions on the or positive charge on the surface of the sphere now why wouldn't stand that will be um, its discussion will be at the end so now let's move on to the next part so now again this is case 2 in case 2 i want to make this sphere negative so for that i will bring the positive glass rod near by it as i told you that glass rod was already rubbed with silk and the glass rod became positive and the silk cloth became negative so this is the positively charged glass rod now since again this is a conducting sphere so the atom would have lost some electrons so the positive ion and negative electrons would be there out of that all the negative electrons will be attracted towards the positive rod so we can say that basically from all these parts the electrons they gather over here leaving behind the positive ions it is wrong to say that the positive ions are repelled and finally they move over here that's fine okay in a sense but we better have to say that the positive ions they stay there and all the negative electrons they move so this part automatically becomes positive so within the sphere itself you have lots of positive ions and negative electrons and all the electrons get drifted so now these electrons are called bound charges now this is called induction splitting up of charges so in a the moment you bring the positive rod nearby all the electrons drift all the positive ions on the opposite side now step 2 
in step 2 we connect a copper wire or any conducting wire this side because this is the bounded part and in the unbounded part you have to connect one end of the copper wire here and the another end of the copper wire goes inside the earth like this this is the symbol for earthing and as i told you that earth is a pool of charges negative as well as positive like this but here the earth is going to see that this part lacks electrons so lots of electrons from the earth they start moving up through the wire and the electrons when they go inside one electron combines with one positive ion thereby making this part neutral so after a while you would be seeing that this rod is positive this part is negative these electrons are strongly bounded by the positive rod and this these part this part where we had positive ions is now neutralized by the electrons coming from the earth remove the wire from here so now this is c diagram this is b diagram in c diagram i have removed the wire from the earth and this is an immediate response the moment you connect the wire it happens immediately now i am going to remove this glass rod from here so if i remove the glass rod all these negative electrons will start repelling and they will move away till the farthest points and they will gather on the surface of the metal sphere so finally this metal sphere in d if you remove the rod now they are free now they are no longer bounded and finally repel and they go on the surface now suppose if i have this negatively charged ball and by mistake if i don't use this wooden stand and suppose if i keep this whole thing on the earth itself so this negatively charged sphere is kept on the surface of the earth that means it is directly grounded so earth will see that it has got lot of electrons so all the electrons will now go inside the earth like this now that means this part will again become neutral so you started with a neutral sphere now you again have a neutral sphere but here the wood this part wood is an insulator and wood will never allow these electrons to go into the earth anyhow this part is earth only but since wood is an insulator and through insulators charges never move so all these electrons will stay there only they don't have a path to go inside the earth whereas over here people if i if i say that this positive sphere if i keep it on the earth earth will again have lot of positive ions and negative electrons and all the electrons from the earth they will start going in then they will neutralize the this sphere so that means direct metal balls or metal spheres if you charge on the surface of the earth they will get discharged again you have achieved nothing so hopefully people you have understood the meaning of induction in over here in the induction also the last one if you start with positive charge you end up with a sphere being negative remember there is no physical touch between the charging rod and the substance which is to be charged so hopefully guys you have understood and please comment in the comment section if you have any doubts thank you for watching the video and if you have not still subscribed my channel people please do that thank you